Just got to our first spot in Kentucky to start scouting. Literally drove all night, drove straight here. So. Well, you drove all night. Well, I drove all night. <laughs> JMO slept. Yeah, I did. I haven't slept since yesterday morning, so. Running on a little bit of caffeine right now. But, if I fall asleep, I'm not gonna get back up. So we're just gonna head right into the woods and we've got a big like brushy clear cut right here and then down here to our on the private there's a bunch of cornfields so we're just going to slip up along here there's a little road and just kind of see if we can't see if there's anything out in this brushy stuff and uh, hopefully we can maybe spot some deer moving this is an area we've never been so we're just going to see what we find we just jumped a buck right here in the middle of this bedding area. We got corn right there. Big cornfield. Woods here, woods there. That's what we're wanting to find, boys. Well, we're about 300 yards from where we jumped that buck, which was back that direction. And we snuck, we have corn right behind us, and we snuck down the edge of the corn and got down in this bottom because that buck actually ran and looped down. There's a big swamp and in between there's this cool staging area. Everything's browsed down, um, old rubs, tracks everywhere. We got some big deer tracks down in here and a really, really, really nice pinch point between the swamp and the edge of the corn. But this will definitely be one that we're returning to for an evening hunt as long as the wind's good and everything works out. Chugging along. Has no sleep and it's kind of tweaking me out, having hallucinations and talking to him. <laughs> so. He tells the size of that chicken! <laughs> but, yeah, we're gonna continue driving around and then. We're in the spirit world, they can't see us. <laughs> and then head back to the Airbnb and get settled in. Trey and Dusty got in here this afternoon and we are. Just putting out some trail cameras down there, and then uh, we're about to go check out and glass for the evening. Good morning, guys. It's actually cold. But it's our second full day of scouting today, so we're up at dawn here, glassing these fields, even right here at our Airbnb. We ended up getting in some good scouting last night, saw some does and a couple small bucks, and actually Dusty spotted a magnum, probably 150 inch 10 pointer. So that's going to be our main priority is to kill that deer. Uh, this morning we're just chilling up here in a haymow. Looking out over all these fields, but we're gonna get back on the road here in about 10 minutes to see what we're into, but <laughs> Awesome day guys, we are pumped to go find some more deer oh, I see you trying to be sneaky uh -huh. <laughs> Getting at, You ain't gonna that get that this angle. beautiful voice on camera. No. The world is not ready for it. <laughs> Can't handle Hollywood That's how we do it guys Mind over matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> this actually does get a little sketchier. <laughs> Wait till Jamie gets to this side, he's gonna see himself. <laughs> this sounds sketchy. <laughs> we got deer to kill, bud. <laughs> trying to access this piece of public but uh really the only easy way without the boat is to cross this old rotten bridge and, uh, it's really not that bad <laughs> 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 
Joe's carving all the way down through there. Find a deer sign in this little swampy bottom. This is like a little finger like this. The river flows out and around. And this little swampy area is like all secluded. Got one last scouting mission tonight. Did a bunch of good scouting today as you guys saw. Found a new area that we really are excited about. A lot of deer sign over there. So. Except for the bridge. Except for the bridge. The bridge Jamo. is not fun. Jambo did not like the bridge. No luck on the scout trip tonight. But tomorrow's opening day. So hopefully it brings more luck than tonight did. We are just about to head out y'all. It is one of the things down here that morning hunting is not usually successful. Deer just do not move in the morning as much. So instead of blowing in there and ruining a spot first thing this morning we decided to just wait and get all our stuff ready and sleep in and now we're heading out so we're actually going to one spot and uh, Trey and Dusty are heading to the other spot and they're gonna be hunting separate they don't have cameras um, or cameramen but they do have some GoPros so hopefully we can get some footage of them if they uh, end up killing something but Jamo and I are pumped. headed to a killer spot it is ready to say we've all been walking around like a restless rooster in a hen house is putting it lightly because we've been pumped for the last five hours ever since we woke up. We're ready to go. So it's early. We're going to get over there about three o'clock and start easing back into this area we want to hunt. So we'll see y'all out there. You leaving that sticker on your hat? I always leave a sticker on my hat. Until that sun catches it, and blends off and spooks the deer. Fine, I'll take a sticker off. <laughs> I'm authentic. Well, we officially made it to the spot. So we got quite a, bit, quite a long walk ahead of us. So we're gonna push back. The wind's mediocre. We'll have to set up around it, but hopefully they come out of the bottom like they look like they did and see what happens. So we wouldn't be in the spot where we could be. Well, we'd be like 40 feet high. And I'm all not I'm not about heights. You know that. Hopefully we didn't mess up. Because those trees in our blind spot are white oaks and I can hear them dropping acorns. And that would suck if a big old buck come right down and we would figure it out. I'll freaking put my feet up here and you can shoot right under it.
smokes. Whew. Dude, I'm shaking. I couldn't even, I don't even know what he was. I didn't even look at his head. He's like a big dude. No freaking way. Dude, look at that. First night. Can we hit him? I'm pretty sure I put it right in the pump station. It looked, it looks good. Yes, 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 yes. God dang. That's odd. He's like 12, 15 years old. He had no idea. It sounded like a long like it, like it, it I wasn't just, like a shoulder shot, but it was like I just put it, it as, as close to that front shoulder that I could and touched her off. I mean, I figured at that, at that distance, I can't screw it up. He's in velvet, too. Full velvet, I think he's a ten. Ten. We finally found decent blood. All our blood spots were just little itty bitty needle points, but we got into this green stuff, which should make it easier to see. But. That's long blood, bud. He was quartering hard, but. He was quartering hard. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's coming out of his mouth. He got long. Keep going. He's standing right here, blowing out. Dude, there he is. Holy man. Dude, look at that quarter in the wet quarter in two. First buck with a bow, dude. Oh, I can't give your hands. <laughs> Look at that. First buck with a bow and in velvet. Holy smokes, dude. Look at that blood clot that just came out of his mouth. Yeah. Kind of a rough evening, but it's always a good time when you get to go sit in the deer stand. But J Mo smoked him a good one. Uh, we're headed over here now to help him go drag it out and quarter it up, whatever they decide to do. But cool thing about it, man, it's opening day of Kentucky and J Mo's first buck with a bow. And they said it's a you know it's a good one. So y'all stick with us and uh we'll keep y'all updated as we go. Well we got a rainstorm coming in in what probably an hour. Yeah so start packing them out. And we are way back in here. I mean we're probably a mile and a half and it is it's not easy walking. So we're gonna go back to where he's at. We just went back out to where our stands and our packs were, so we're gonna go back, cut, quarter them, load them up, and pack his beast out of here. We made it back in here. We're getting close to him. We're just gonna send out a little locator, see if we can find him. Can I get a oh yeah? Oh, we real close. <laughs> oh man, they sure enough found me honey hole back here, y'all. Man, it's beautiful. Jay Mo, my man. Look at that. Yes, sir. Check him out, guys. Yeah. That's cool right there. That is all right. Dude, it was, it was, we were eight feet off the ground. And that sucker come up out of this bottom, angled over towards like he was going to go this way, hung a lift, and walked into 15 yards. In the Holy cow. Thanks, love. Well, we're back at the car. Thank you, too. Got them all packed up in the cooler, ready to be our meal for the rest of the week. What? Two hours from, we got them cut, quartered, everything packed out back to the car. Now we're getting loaded up and ready to go back and get some grub and celebrate. The shower. And, <laughs> no, look at the <laughs> film. The Good job, dude. Thanks, dude. Heck yeah, thanks, thanks for the help, boys. Job, thanks for hiking all the way out here. Enjoy it. We got to do it again. Six or seven more times before we go. Yeah, boy. That sounds good. We got, we got to practice in on the first night. We got a good warm up.
Yeah, buddy. Heck yeah, I'm ready. Let's go, boys.